the size of the lineup, I, I guess you guys already know who's coming up next. Woo! Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let everybody settle in. Find your seats, find your seats. I love that unicorn costume. Uh. So everyone having a great day so far? Why is this area so empty? Is everyone here in line? Is that how that works? Interesting. Okay, well, since I'm here, I guess I'll, I'll introduce a video first. Consensus on that point. <laughs> Everybody's like, no. Other people are like, yes. <laughs> it's flattering. God, that's flattering. <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to say this, but since I'm 
in Germany, I don't think anybody back home is going to know if I spoil something, so go ahead. <laughs> oh, come on, stop teasing, what is it? <laughs> okay, okay, I'll tell you. Um, Sam and Dean died. <laughs> This time for the <laughs> What? Did you call me a liar? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was you? You called me a liar? Yes, you're the only man back there. I know it was you. <laughs> That's why we shouldn't let men in here. <laughs> From now on, we're having a strict rule. <laughs> Um, does anybody have any questions that they want to ask? I think since you're at the front of the line, that seems like a convention. At least that's how it Okay, go. Okay. Yes, you may start. Thank you. Actually, that was your question. Sorry. The rules, the rules. Okay, what's your follow-up question? Um, but make it quick, because you already had one question. Yeah, for sure. Um, so, we all know that Robbie Thompson has now left the show, which is what we're all very sad about. Yes. And um, he did this signing thing, like, a week ago in LA, where he said something about how once he sent you, like, a long, heartfelt letter or email, I think about Cass, I don't know the details, but it was, like, a long letter, and you just replied with, good. <laughs> and I was just wondering if you actually know, remember anything about that and what it was about, or if not, just if you have like a, maybe a cute Robbie story. <laughs> uh, I have no recollection of that email, um, but it does speak to my, generally speaking, I think I, I have a t uh, tendency when I'm writing things to be very uh, terse. I write very short things. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it. No more women allowed in this place. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I I love Robbie, mm. and I think he's good. <laughs> Um, I, I'm excited to see what his next adventure in life is. We have a new showrunner on Supernatural as well. I don't know if you heard the news, but um, yep. Andrew Dobb is going to be our... I knew it! <laughs> <laughs> um, I thought Germans were supposed to be well-behaved. <laughs> So yeah, so it's which is exciting, and uh, and we're of course going to miss Jeremy because we love him, but he's on to doing a new and exciting enterprise, a new show called Frequency, and Andrew is awesome, and he's been um, he's been kind of you know a part of the inner sanctum of creating story arcs for the show for several years now, so there is no one better equipped to take the reins. Yeah. Thank you. Did you do any double photos? Hello. Hi. Um, my question is, what's been your favorite scene in season 11 so far to film? What have you found most fun to film in season 11? Thank you. Um, ha. <laughs> it, that's actually tough to say. It's, uh, it's between, it's between, uh, having, I don't know. There's two scenes, and it's sort of impossible to choose between them. Um, it was one one scene where I was petting uh, Mark Shepard's head like he was a dog, and then the other scene was when I was making him lick the floor. <laughs> both were both were uh, very. Neat.
meaningful to me in different ways. <laughs> I enjoy this, these two. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I wanted to know what your favorite episode of season 11 was because mine was Don't Baby. Call. Don't Call. <laughs> Wait, is it Baby? Baby was season 11, right? They all yeah. Yeah. Baby, Don't Call Me Shirley? Yeah. Yes. Uh, Don't Call Me Shirley is awesome. I. Uh, <laughs> that's tough. I, I, I think I'm going to still go with Baby because it was just so, it was so unique. I think Baby is going to sort of stand out. As one of the top five episodes of the series. Yeah. What are your favorite episodes of the series? Don't walk away from me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hurry up, you know, there's a lot of people waiting here. Top five, the whole show? Yeah. Um, top five. Top five. Oh my gosh. <laughs> A lot of people are waiting. Come on, come on. You're not really a fan, are you? You're just pretending to be a fan. Mystery spot. Mystery spot. Fan fiction. Fan fiction. Um, fan fiction. 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 That's, that's um, three. Don't call me Shirley. Don't call me Shirley. How's Angel? How's Angel? How's Angel? That's bullshit. You were just. That's <laughs> <laughs> just got me what she said. Yeah, I can, I can tell you didn't really mean that one. Uh, my, I, I really liked uh, Everybody Hates Hitler. Yeah. Um, and I really liked the, uh, the 200th episode. Woo! <laughs> What's it called? Man fiction. Don't yell at me. <laughs> uh, and I, um, I liked uh, uh, the French mistake. Yeah. <laughs> um, and baby. And maybe Lazarus. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That was what I came on. French mistake. You're just copying me now. Come on. Um, okay, you can you can go now. Hi. Oh, one more question for you. One more question. Excuse me. Don't walk away from me. Hi, serious. I just wanted to make sure we could say proper goodbye. Goodbye. Oh. Listen, I'm going to make this as painless as possible. <laughs> are you really nervous? Yes. What, is it, like, what are you experiencing nervousness-wise? Um, I find, personally, if I find that if you're nervous and you're speaking in front of a large, large crowd, it's helpful to just talk about how nervous you are. <laughs> with somebody that you know from television, you know? Usually that, usually that helps calm people down. Yeah. Is it helping for you? Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh. <clears throat> Are you both less nervous now? Um. <laughs> Hi. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you're uh, you're shaking a little bit. I'm noticing. Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with me? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, so my question.
question is because um, I have those moments where I'm <laughs> I can't remember if I've met him or not. 
Um, it is a him, right? <laughs> what, uh, do you know his name? Yes. <laughs> what, um, what other actors does he dub? Jude Law. Jude Law? He did Mark Shepard. He did Mark Shepard too? <laughs>
in some other in some other languages, I have heard dubbing that is like. I am an angel of the Lord. <laughs> so it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yes, I'm not going to say what. <laughs> yes. I, thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi. My name is Nina. Hi, Nina. And. Uh, Thank you for allowing me to come back in. <laughs> Somebody who was kind of the opposite of that. 
for a little while. And torturing people like you just want. <laughs> yes. Well, I like tor- that was just Misha. I just <laughs> that's different. Um, but also, um, I had a little bit of a difficult time with uh, with crazy cats. Um, ben Edlund was directing that episode, and he wrote that episode, and he. He, we were just like trying to find the character on the first day of shooting, and he would say like you know do one thing you know make him totally dynamic and crazy like you know um, uh, uh, Jack Nicholson in, in uh, The Shining, and then he'd be like no 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 actually do the opposite of that let's see what that looks like so we got all of the map and kind of trying to figure find that character. Um, so that was a little bit challenging. Um, I liked playing human cats. That was fun. Um, there's a unicorn taking a photograph of me. <laughs> That's so weird to think about. You would think it would be me wanting to take a picture of the unicorn. The unicorn being like, What? Oh. Um, that means a lot to me. Is it because of my horn? Um, okay. I should be. Um, stand down. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Um, well, you just said uh, playing Casper was a challenging experience. Now, my question is, uh, how much time and effort did you actually have to put uh, put into getting into character, like not the dying shoot, but just time you spent uh, trying to figure it out? Um, are you like calling? Are you calling me a liar? You're like, <laughs> you said it was hard, but I bet you only spent five minutes based on your performance. <laughs> That's not what you're saying. <laughs> I went to, so um, I got the first script. Actually, I got the, uh, yeah, when I got the script, I was like, oh my god, I've got to play Lucifer right after Mark Pellerino has done this, like, amazing little arc where he was really, you know, his Lucifer changed a little bit over the course of the seasons when he played it, but by the, by the end, his character was just so uh, dynamic. Well, so... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it was kind of like salacious. Do you know that word? It was like, it was like he was sort of all over everybody. Um, smarmy, smarmy, slutty, something. Um, so anyway, uh, I was like, this is going to be impossible. They're just setting me up to fail. Um, so I went over. Uh, Mark, Mark was up there because he had been shooting. So I just went over to his house. In, in Vancouver and, uh, and had him, I cheated. <laughs> I said, Mark, will you just show me what you would do? <laughs> um, so he gave me some stuff to play with for, for the first episode, but that was really helpful. And then I watched, I would watch uh, episodes that he had been in before going on uh, on camera. So I would have it sort of a little bit fresh in my head. Um, most of the time. So I spent some time. I mean, I'll admit it, I'm a fairly lazy person, but I spent some time working on it. Sometimes sounds good. Okay. Bye. Bye. Hi. Hi. Uh, I wanted to know how your trip to Costa Rica was. My trip to Costa Rica was great, thank you. Um, were you in Costa Rica? No. <laughs> Uh, so this was the winner's trip. We just uh, went, I just went to Costa Rica with the winners of last year's Gishwiz. Who here participates in Gishwiz? Not bad, not bad. This year should be Germany's year. It should be like a, a German team that wins Gishwiz. Those of you who haven't participated in it, actually 
those of you who have participated in it, uh, shout loudly if you think everyone else should participate in it. Woo! <laughs> See? So you have to do it. Um, <laughs> it's it's, it's uh, a scavenger hunt and it's super... <laughs> In case whoever is up here on the stage gets bored. Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> if you notice, like, the actors up here seem to be, like, bored, like, just looking down at the screen. <laughs> it's because we're watching a movie. Big deal. It's something we put in our contract. We have to be able to watch a movie while we're up on stage. <laughs> Yes, people sign up for Gishwiz, seriously, you're missing out if you're not doing it. I got somebody last night, you, and there's a very lovely woman here who was on the fence about participating in Gishwiz, and we came to an agreement, and she is going to do it. Woo! Right? Yeah. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Hello. Hi, Misha. Hi. So, are you kind of dressed as a nun and a, a, a maid? What is the? <laughs> uh, actually, it's a uh, nun style um, one piece from a Japanese brand called Innocent World. Innocent World. Yes. That sounds like just about the opposite of innocent. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad to like it. <laughs> thank you. Yes, thank you for wearing it. Um, well, my, <laughs> my question is, uh, 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 I didn't forget. It. Um, okay, I'm calm. I'm focused. <laughs> um, what do you think is the biggest misconception? Uh, a lot of fans seem to have about your best personality. Um, th about my personality? Yeah. I think a lot of people mistakenly think that I'm a nice person. <laughs> um, Don't tell my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's one. Um, I don't know. People... I actually think that people think that I have my shit together more than I do. I don't um, think people keep that. Um, <laughs> sorry? Well, um, <laughs> I don't know. 
This has and I do follow this, you on Twitter, you know. This conversation <laughs> hasn't been good for my ego. <laughs> Sorry. Um, they, I'm very present today, Ron. Okay, I'm thank you. you well, yeah, I don't know. What do you think? Maybe you can help me with this one. What do you think the misconceptions they have about my, my personality are? It's a super, definitely a weird question for me to figure out how to answer. Because um, I don't know really what other people think. Um, I really... Uh, um, 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 I am not sure if I can say yes, it out in public without yes, being shouted out or whatever. I feel really uncomfortable. <laughs> wow! What's the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> That's such a great teaser. <laughs> I learned that from you. Now, <laughs> now I need to know what it is. Right. Um, well, I think that, that that thing that you're talking oh, about... Oh, I was, I, was, I was told not to talk about it. You were? By, by staff, so I don't oh, respect okay. that. Okay, okay. Um, so... I'm making a message. What is it? Yeah. Uh, well, whatever that misconception is that, that people have about me, that's true. <laughs> that's not a misconception. I don't know what it is, but I'm sure it's not true. It is true. Um, uh, I'm really racking my brain here. I don't want to know. I want to know, but I don't want to know. So maybe this is good. Um, any other misconceptions that you would like to talk about? Um, people think William Shatner doesn't like you? I don't know. <laughs> no, William Shatner likes me. Um, He's in Germany too. Is he? Yes, just one hour drive away. Wow, well, yeah. why doesn't he come over? <laughs> I actually invited him for uh, the party, but uh, yeah, he that was about it. You know, yeah. He was already trolling other people. <laughs> <laughs> mm. um, well, this, is very, this has been very awkward. <laughs> um, awkward is my middle name. <laughs> uh, well done, well done. <laughs> It started really right from the beginning with the sexy nun stuff that we had been doing. Um, and you're the innocent... I am ruining my makeup. <laughs> innocent... What is it? Innocent what? Innocent world. Innocent world. They have a shop in Osaka, you know, and in Tokyo too. So maybe next time when you're in Japan, you can... You I can know, go to so Innocent yeah. World. <laughs> um, my kids, great idea. <laughs> Okay, Let, we'll pick this up later. We'll, fi we'll fi finish this in another time. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Bye. Hi. Hi. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, first of all, I want to thank you that you uh, brought, brought up um, Gishway's team because um, so I think five of us met last year at your cocktail party and then we decided to make our Gishway's team. And oh, really? Yeah, we all knew around. Uh, I, think, I think all of the best decisions are made at, while drinking. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and I want to say that it was really one of the best um, weeks ever in my life. So I had really fun. So uh, now my question. Uh, That's awesome. Are you guys going to do it again? Yes. Um, how, how many, did you form a full team or did you have other people added by us for your team? Uh, we had, uh, like, we met uh, five, six, we were six here, then two from, now one, uh, two persons from Berlin and then uh, the other half of the team was someone from the, uh, America, from America. What did you think of the Americans? <laughs> you didn't like them, did you? <laughs> No, you didn't. I can tell. You hate Americans. <laughs> um, but your spear five are sticking together. Yes. All right. Come with you. We met already. All right. Good. All right. And well, maybe you guys are going to be the winning team this year. Hopefully. Okay. I'll see you in Iceland. Yeah. And um, now my question. So, um, <laughs> I don't know if you would like this question, but. Um, <laughs> I'm sure I will. Uh, okay, so uh, what um, what death for Castiel would you wish it was for? Uh, what would you wish for? Oh. Hopefully, it won't happen. 
first you hate Americans and now this? <laughs> How would you like to see Castiel die? Um, Drawn and quartered? Um, Cut in half with a chainsaw? <laughs> no, Fed into a wood chipper? Saving someone. Saving someone. That's yes. boring. No, no, no. It's like a hero. It's just a hero. Um, okay. <laughs> and, and recently, well, I would like to see, so recently um, on uh, Online, I think it was BuzzFeed or something. They did this thing where they put rubber bands around a watermelon. Oh, yeah. Did anyone see that? Yes. They put rubber band after rubber band after rubber band until the water watermelon exploded. Um, I think that they should do that to Castiel's head. <gasps> And I didn't talk to him about I did not, after I did it, I did not talk to him about it. Um, but I assumed that he was pretty jealous. <laughs> but was he proud? No, it was mostly just jealousy, probably. I mean, I didn't, like I said, I didn't talk to him, but I'm sure that he was, he felt threatened. <laughs> and jealous. Yeah. Thank you. Hi. If you could listen to one song for the rest of your life, just one song, what song would it be? <laughs> That's a terrible question. Because if it's a song that you really like, you would grow to hate it. Yes. Um, I think it would have to be something really quiet. <laughs> What's the quietest song? What? 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 Yeah, highway to hell. Thank you. No, it would be um, Jada Pinkett Smith's Whip Your Hair Back and Forth. That would be my choice. Willow, that's right, sorry, it's Willow, I got it mixed up. Thank you for correcting me. Such a fool. I'm such a fool. Hi. Hi. Um, you write sometimes that you're um, a celebrity. <laughs> what did she say? Um, do you regret sometimes that you're a celebrity? Oh, do I regret being a celebrity? Mm -hmm. Yes, totally. <laughs> about it. I try not to, not, you know, I, I wish this upon myself, and this is sort of, you know, the culmination of good things happening for me. Um, so I try to be gracious. Uh, but a couple uh, came up to me recently and said, um, hey, uh, is it alright if we take a picture? Uh, or could you, could you take a, could you take a picture? Um, for us, and I was like, oh yeah, absolutely. And it was this young couple, like this this guy and this girl, and uh, I just put my arm around her. <laughs> and, and he was like, no, 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 could you take a picture of us? <laughs> you fucking creep. <laughs> so, 
So it's mo moments like that, I definitely regret it. Um, <laughs> su that's super embarrassing. <laughs> super hard to talk your way out of that. <laughs> oh, no, no, you don't understand. I thought that you thought, never mind. <laughs> Strange. I'll tell you what's a little bit weird about being on TV is that sometimes you can't. Sometimes people hide the fact that they know that you're on TV, and so you can't always tell if somebody's being friendly because they're friendly or because they're trying to get something out of you or something like that. That that can be a little weird. Um, and some old some old friends, you know, that you knew before come back weird or don't know how to deal with it. That can be a little strange. Um, and then the weirdest thing, though, is when people don't want to take a picture with you. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, go away. Did oh shit, you're on crutches and I told you to go away. <laughs> See, I told you I was mean. I'm just Hi. I was just wondering, I had another Robbie Thompson question. Okay. Um, do you have a favorite Robbie Thompson episode or a moment from one of his episodes? Uh, <laughs> um, surely, what is it, what is that recent episode called? Don't Call Me Yeah, that's Robbie, right? That's yes. Robbie. I mean, I think that might be my favorite Robbie episode. Pretty awesome, mm -hmm. right? It was really good. Um, I'm trying to think of what, what, what Robbie episodes I'm forgetting. Maybe. Maybe. Right there. Okay. Maybe is my favorite Robbie episode. And then Don't Call Me Shirley is a second. Um, Robbie is an awesome writer. And he's also, like, you talk, just talking to him, you know he has an amazing mind. Robbie, oh, really sad he's leaving. Robbie is going great places, for sure. Um, <laughs> Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Things are happening. There's people backstage and stuff like that. They're talking. <laughs> are we about to be kicked off the stage? Five minutes. Okay. We can do 20 questions in five minutes. <laughs> Hi. Hello, Michelle. I'm Julia. And at first, I want to say that uh, you and all the other Robbie characters are my heroes. Oh, thank you. My goodness. Um, yeah, my, <laughs> my question is, um, if you could create a monster, what, uh, how would you name it? How would it look like? And which special power would it have? Um, okay, if I could uh, create any kind of monster, what would I name it? What would it look like? And what special power would it have? Uh, the monster would be named, uh, I don't know, Jared Ackles. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it would be like uh, a, a face swap between Sam and Dean, say. And, uh, and, it's, and, it's, uh, and it's, it's evil power that it would have is that it could make the entire inside of the cabin of a car smell like hell. <laughs> Four minutes. Go. Hi. Hi. Um, is there a quote from the show that you especially remember or especially like? A what? A quote. A quote? Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> what's a quote? We don't have time for this. No. Oh, a quote. That's okay. Hey, that's fun. Okay. Uh, how to use a, uh, your Snapchat account. <laughs> no, I have not figured out how to use Snapchat. So here's the thing, everybody was like, Snapchat, Snapchat, you know, it's this thing, it's like all the, all that, 
kids are using it to sex each other. It's disgusting. <laughs> it's disgusting. It's like people are sending um, <laughs> new pictures of each other, to, and, and then they disappear so that you know there's no record of it. And so I joined Snapchat and I look, and nobody sent me a naked picture. <laughs> It's incredibly frustrating. Well, you should really put something on your story, and yeah, then you can all see that. And oh. Maybe not, not something naked. Great idea. <laughs> <laughs> we were but, um, uh, I'm sure. I'm sure the network would be pleased with my with yeah. my foray into social media. Like, oh yeah, I thought that this is what people did on Snapchat. I posted a picture of my penis because I saw. <laughs> I just thought that I thought that was protocol, guys. I'm sorry if you found it offensive. Um, and yeah. Also, I didn't know, I didn't know, uh, when I got here, I started Snapchat here in Germany, like pretty much right after I got off the plane in Germany. I was like, all right, I'll start Snapchat. Which actually was really stupid because um, it's international data yeah. roaming, and I already have, and it, unfortunately the notifications came in, they're like a little delayed. I already have a thousand dollars in data oh. roaming charges from Snapchat. No naked pictures. <laughs> totally not worth it. Okay, next person, go, go, go. Uh, so, I really want to know if you like monkeys. If I like monkeys? Yes. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Good, more questions like that. <laughs> yes. I originally wanted to ask you something else, but what? you stole my question. Okay. Really. So, okay. I have come up with a new one. Okay. And what was the last prank you played? The so last one. Prank on, on, on set. On set? Uh, I don't know, they all blend together. Um, oh, okay. Well, recently we had a scene where it was, we were all sitting around a table. It was me, Jared, Jensen, and I think Mark Shepard was there. I can't remember because I always try to block him out. And, and Rob Benedict was there. And, um, and when, when, we were, when the cameras were on Rob for his coverage, um, Jared put his hand on Rob's leg under the table and started sliding his hand <laughs> while he was doing the dialogue. And normally, that's me. I'm normally, <laughs> normally, I'm Rob in that situation. And I'm trying to do my lines while Jared is fondling my balls. And, and it was so amazing to me. I just loved having something happen to somebody else. Um, it just was so cathartic. So I put my hand on Rob's le other leg, <laughs> and it was just, it was, a, it was an amazing experience. Um, you missed it, but I digress. <laughs> um, <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get down from this <laughs> Alright, I, I get to play the bad guy once, and I gotta okay. get you out of here. Alright. Um, I, I hope you guys all enjoyed your time with me. I'm not leaving. He's not leaving. <laughs> He's not leaving. <laughs> He's absolutely in the stage of the city. He's not leaving. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. You're, you're heavier than you look. It's like, it's very, it's like a stone. It's very dense. <laughs> All right, give it up for